Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, We The Wolfmans. We are building our second custom dream home and we are basically starting our framing process. Last we left it, we had prepared everything with doing the demolition, the excavation, standing up the foundation walls for our house and doing the waterproofing. And now we are ready to start with building out the structure for our main floor and doing the backfill so that we are all set for really bringing the frame up. So let's take you there. All right, guys, we got a lot of loud noise here because they're doing some construction across the street, but we're getting some lumber. We're getting some lumber today. We are getting ready for framing. This is super exciting. We got a boom. All right. Finally, we got this bad boy here. We are ready to unload off some steel. Truck over there, truck over there. Workers here. We are going. Once we backfill, obviously it's going to be much easier to get in and out of the house. Backfill is basically putting dirt to close this hole here. Having said that, you can't backfill unless the walls are locked into place. And although they're concrete, they're not fully, fully locked into place until the first floor is put on. And then from there, we'll backfill and we'll continue. So, you know, there's not a lot of room on the site right now, especially here with the lumber at the front but we got our first lumber delivery, just waiting on some steel, and then this frame is going up. So this has really been quite a project so far today. So first we were uh, waiting for the steel to come, then we were waiting for the forklift to come, but now we got everything here. And this forklift is essentially putting these giant steel beams into the pit so they could be put into place. It's been quite a feat for them to get around all these trees and these wires. The problem with our site is we have so many trees on this side, one, two, three trees in a very close, proximity to one another and then just up, up above that is is the wires so it's really quite difficult to get anything in and out of the site especially until we backfill because we've got this huge hole sort of right here so we we really don't have that much space even to work with but we'll keep it going okay so what they're starting today is they started doing these steel beams so we have about I think five steel beams on our main floor that are going in today uh, and then on top of that, so they're also getting, yeah, here's the forklift at loading another steel beam in. Uh, so they're going to be putting in these, basically uh, our joists today uh, for, for the main floor. They're going to be loading it up. So it's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. We're going to have our capped first floor done today. And then we're going to backfill tomorrow. So this, all this hole right here is going to be completely gone uh, and filled in, which is fantastic. It'll be a much safer, cleaner site to work on. So we'll be happy when that's the case and uh, we'll continue checking in through the day. So just to give you guys a little bit of a rundown on the material here. So you can see the little red uh, red steel beam so those are the steel beams those were put in half yesterday half today uh, and then the lines that you see here those are called our joists uh, so those are our wooden joists so we actually went with 12 inch joists on this house so those were I was just showing you were the joists so we actually went with uh, 11 and 3 quarter inch joists on this house um, so it's a bit of an upgraded joist but ultimately it's going to provide so much more stability and strength for the rest of the house uh, which is fantastic so so that was what we decided to do and we've also got three quarter inch plywood which is right here yeah it's looking great so we got three three quarter inch plywood uh, you can use a few different materials you can use particle board you can use uh, plywood you can use half inch plywood we wanted to go with three quarter inch um, you know when you when you walk into a house you can feel a lot of different things on the floor and we really wanted to feel a heavy solid floor it, it wasn't uh, a big price gap, uh, so we felt that was something that's, that really uh, was gonna make a big difference for us. Here we got our neighbor here coming to check in. This is basically our site super right here, <laughs> doing a good job. Hi, Daddy. Daddy, is Daddy working over there? Ooh, our windows are a bit dirty. Um. Daddy's working. Across the street. 
Bye. Hi. Hi. I'm mommy. We just left our house. Very far walk, right about there. Cross the street over to head out and see what's happening on site because there's a lot of work going on today. Just cleaning up some of the sites, getting ready for tomorrow. Guys are working really hard. It's 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. We're still here, they've been here the whole day, building all of this up. We've got the supervisor in the house. Leo, are you supervising? Uh, we had a nine person crew today hammering things out. Incredible work today. They literally finished the entire base of our floor in one day. So around our entire site, we had this blue tarp. So now that we're ready for backfill, we had to get rid of that. We had to basically go around the entire site, cut off the tarp, take out all the stakes, uh, and clean that out for, uh, for backfill, which is happening at 7 a.m. tomorrow. So uh, where I'm standing right now, I'm probably gonna be the last person standing here forever, which is kind of cool actually, because come tomorrow, this is gonna be our front lawn. Yeah, come tomorrow morning, all this stuff is gonna be full. So I'm just gonna remove one more tarp, and uh, I think we're good to go. Super long day today. Today started at, the guys were here by probably 7.15 in the morning. I we, heard that when I was getting ready for work, yeah, I heard them. Yeah, so 7.15 this morning. Lots of progress, Yeah, guys, guys only left about, I don't know, 45 minutes ago and, and I've been finishing uh, cleaning up all the tarp around the house. So it's now, almost dark what time is it You've got to be 8 30. it's probably about 8 30 like so we're nice starving nice 13 hour day so uh i think we're gonna go maybe get cleaned up a little bit i'm pretty filthy and uh and grab some grub so uh we will uh we will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for backfill and uh yeah we're looking forward to it all right guys so we got backfill today uh pretty awesome i'm actually right now sitting at uh, our current house in my son's bedroom facing this camera out the windows we actually have a perfect angle uh, to see what's going on through the day so it's pretty awesome but uh, we're gonna take some cool shots uh take some cool shots today watch some back filling happen and uh and enjoy the show it'll be a much uh, a much easier site to uh to work on after this so it's gonna be pretty awesome all right they gotta load up this section so we're dumping some dirt baby we are dumping some dirt. So basically what they are doing is they keep filling up the garage with dirt here uh, so they can then move it around so it's easier for them because there's not much room at the sides of the house yet, not much room at the front of the house with all the equipment. So they keep dumping dirt into this section and then they unload from here, which just makes it much smoother and easier. Whee! All right. I don't know about anyone else, but I find this fun. Pretty cool stuff. So I'm standing on the house right now. We've got the excavator right here, filling up the front. And then we got the Bobcat over here, filling up the back. So this area right here, you, this morning, had nothing in it. And now it's filling up. So really they're done almost everything. They just got this side left to do. They got this side left to do, and that's pretty much it. So uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's moving along nicely. Really exciting. So thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, We The Wolfmans and we will continue bringing you along the process of building our custom dream home and share lots of tips and advice on things to think about and what the process looks like. Bye guys. <laughs>